All right, wow, this is surreal. So you and I back together at a con, talking to each other. That's how we became friends. Uh, it is, yeah. yeah. And how long ago was that? About 11 years ago. Oh, and, uh, oh my gosh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, so folks, I'm here with Marilyn Gigliotti, star of Clerks and Clerks 3, uh, best known as Veronica. And you're back out here at, uh, this is your first time at Rhode Island, right? It is, it is my first time. And you know, um, there was a convention back in March in, uh, Florida, but this is basically like the first one back since the whole, you know, pandemic and all that. So it's nice. It's a, it's a nice little introduction back, although like crazy busy to be able to get back into that kind of a horse, you know, um, but it's nice being with the whole cast. This has never happened before that I can recall. Not this big. No. Yeah. I mean, as big as it's gotten, um, Jason myself brian and kevin at one time i think scott as well but that's that's about it yeah so you did clerk street this year um what was it like just being back in the actual quick stop itself uh reprising your role i know you wore uh the same jacket uh can you kind of describe what that feeling was kind of going back and like oh my gosh i'm doing another clerks movie in the quick stop <laughs> And because it's been put out there, I know I'm not giving anything away because everybody knows that we were recreating some scenes. So, yeah, doing that when you're older, heavier, is a little, heavy, you know, a little hard, um, but still surreal to some effect. And and but but always comfortable. Yeah. Be, you know, because there I am, you know, with with uh, Brian doing our scenes again and stuff. Um, my, my one scene heavy day was at the quick stop and it was my last day of shooting as a matter of fact. And, and it, that was really nice because, you know, unfortunately with COVID being a factor, it kind of isolated. I felt isolated anyway. Um, it's, I had to do the COVID test every week and that was about the only time that I maybe got a glimpse of everybody else. Um, otherwise, I was in my hotel room, bored, <laughs> or, you know, learning my lines and, and just getting the backstory and all that kind of stuff. In fact, the day of, I woke up and I really didn't turn the TV on. I was just like in my head, not in the bad way, but just writing down, jotting down thoughts of Veronica, where she's at, how she's feeling and, and all that so that I then could just channel that to do it into our scenes. Well, I can't wait to see it. I mean, this is a big thing for you. I mean, just reprising the character after all these years. Um, what do you think for Clerks fans, View Skew fans, what do you think they should be most excited about with Clerks 3? See, that's a hard question to answer, <laughs> especially when I'm not fully awake. Um, <laughs> because... It's not like I can give anything away. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, we know you can't say a whole lot, but uh... one thing that I do say to them, they're like excited, and I'm like, I'm excited to see their reaction because I just feel like they're going to love it. I really do, because we've already gotten glimpses, you know. So, have you seen the full film yet? I <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay. Aside from Clerks, what else have you been up to? What are you working on? What uh, what can you tell us about? Um, so there wasn't a whole lot, you know, during the pandemic and, and things like that. But I did manage to get an amazing uh, management team, uh, Chris Rowe Management. And uh, I have a pickup shot on a film that I did. Oh, my gosh. Five years ago, I think. Wow. I think. But it's it shoots in Albuquerque or Santa Fe, New Mexico, based on a true story of a nun whose uh, daughter of immigrants, they have gotten approval from the Vatican to make her the saint of immigrants. Wow. So it's called The End of the Santa Fe Trail. Um, so I play her daughter. So it's like my lines are in Italian. I don't know Italian. Uh, I was going to say if you spoke, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's um, like even for the audition way back when, I had no time to actually do it with anybody else. And so 
there's an app that I used and basically just kind of did teleprompter wise. Um, luckily for the audition, there were maybe about six sentences. Yeah. I did half of them in Italian. And on Google, you've got, you know, it, it, it'll tell you exactly how to say it. it. It translates it. And the other half I did in English. And so obviously I booked it. Um, and so now I, you know, did the translation. So now I'm going, trying to do each week or each, just kind of learn a little bit here and there so that I can ingrain it. That's amazing. Like, I could never be an actor because I cannot remember anything. But to, to think like not only remembering lines, but also lines in the foreign language that you're not familiar with, you didn't, you're not fluent in. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, there's some similarities to Spanish, so so it makes it a little bit easier that way. Somebody told me about the Duolingo app, which Duolingo. I... Duolingo. <laughs> hey, you should have sponsored this video. Duolingo. <laughs> So, you know, every day I do a little bit of that, although, I mean, we're nowhere near. Some of the words actually are in my lines, so that's good. Um, but, uh, it, you know, there's many lines that I'm nowhere near learning. So it's just a matter of, like, going back and, and, and just repetition. Because it's difficult for me to remember lines as well. <laughs> well I'm sure you do better than me. So... Uh, so where can fans find you? Where can they support you? Check out your stuff. So they can uh, find and support on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Marilyn Gigliotti, pretty much essentially. Um, and on those sites, I do have link trees that are linked to my website and Square Store and many other things that I have going on. Great. Well, Marilyn, thank you so much for talking to us. It's always a pleasure to see you. We'll see it's you. it's great when we're on the same coast, I right? Know, yeah. Because the last time we saw each other was what three years ago. It was in L.A. It was uh, it was might have been it was. Yeah, maybe four years ago. No, I think it was two years. It was when you did the Clerks Three reading, the original script. Yeah, but no, that's that's even more than two years ago. I think. Maybe it was. Because uh, maybe you're right. Because in March it's going to be already two years since our lockdown. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. And yes, because of that, it kind of thrown everybody's time, internal time clock yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> but we always have fun. It's it's. Uh, thank you for your friendship over the years, right. and uh, we will we'll see you in Clark Street and uh, many of these great independent films coming out. Thank you.